What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Let's Not, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. All right, you guys, so I just want to make a real quick video for you all and uh, let you know how to unlock the different forms for Rotom, how to actually get Rotom in this game to begin with, and uh, really kind of what goes into that. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, you guys, so behind me, you see that I've got uh, the Mo form Rotom, and uh, there are in total, of course, just like all the other games, you know, the, what, five total forms of Rotom, uh, not counting his original form, right? So you've got the Wash, Mo, Fridge, uh, Fan, Lawn, and Heat, and then, of course, his original form. So basically, in this game, you can uh, basically unlock appliances that you buy um, after you uh, uh, catch a Rotom. Well, actually, I think you can unlock them before you catch a Rotom, but... Anyway, I, dig I digress. So anyway, so what I want to do is I want to break down first and foremost, where do you find Rotom? Um, and then how do you unlock these items to change his form? So let's jump into the Pokedex here. So if I jump in and look at Rotom, we can see that he's located at uh, Coronet Highlands, Stone Tooth Rose, and Sacred Plaza. I think he is kind of a rare spawn, but let's actually go and find ourselves a Rotom here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. And we're going to go straight over here. And I'm going to go to the Mountain Camp. And then in case you guys are curious, like what are what is Stone Tooth Row and, and, and what are these different areas that I'm talking about? Basically, there's these little ribbons that will tell you um, what those are, right? So if I like look here and I just, uh, for example, here's Stone Tooth Rose, right? And here's Sacred Plaza. So it just means Rotom will spawn roughly in these two areas, right? So I'll put a little pin over here and then we'll, we'll jump over to this fast travel point and I'll show you guys where Rotom spawns, right? All right, so here's Rotom. Uh, again, in this case right now, we're standing exactly here at the Stone Tooth Rose. Again, he is a kind of a rare spawn, so it may take a little bit longer to find him. So I'm just going to go ahead and catch this Rotom here, and then we're going to go back, and I'm going to tell you guys really quickly how to get the items to change his forms. All right, so hopefully this Ultra Ball does the trick. If not, uh, we'll have to jump in. Let's jump into a, a Rotom on Rotom battle here. <laughs> I hope he's not the kind that runs away, because that would be real, real sad. All right, so let's go ahead and catch this guy. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and just hit it with a hex. I'm not going to kill it. We'll be fine. All right, perfect. So we're going to catch this Rodom real quick, and then we'll be good to go. One second. All righty, guys, we're back. Rodom has been caught. All right. So now that we've caught Rotom, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and travel straight back here to any of the camps, really, and then talk to the professor and head back to town. Uh, well, I guess as soon as I stop getting aggroed by whatever's aggroing me, I guess we'll just walk up the hill. I mean, the camp's right here, so it's not too bad. One second. All right, <laughs> round round two. Uh, since we're here anyway, let's just go ahead and toss Rotom into our party. But to be fair, actually, you know, I'm not actually going to even bother tossing him in party because we don't actually have to. We can actually leave him right there and uh, select a Rotom from the from the the nursery. So, nursery. It's definitely not called a nursery <laughs> from the pasture. All right, so we, we caught ourselves our second copy of Rodom. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and jump back into town. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how we get the items for him. All right, guys, we are back in town now. Um, so basically, the, the way to get the items to evolve Rotom is by talking to this Ginkgo Guild merchant right here. Now, basically, he's only going to have one item every in-game day or so. So I guess if you really want to, you could manipulate your system clock. I think that would work in order to keep resetting his days. Uh, just... Just a heads up. But anyway, uh, he doesn't really have what I need right now. But what's going to happen, and I'll pop up a screenshot here, is when he does have what you need, you'll notice that he's going to be selling a mechanical item. So there's uh, in total five mechanical items. So like like I'm showing in the picture here, there's the mechanical circular saw, which is going to give you the uh, lawn rotom like I, like I showed. There's the pinwheel, which is going to give you the, um, the flying type one. Uh, the tub, the cabinet, and the box, right? So all of these, the box is going to be obviously fire, cabinet being ice, and tub being water. So once you unlock all of those items, each time it's going to range in either 20 to 40,000 uh, and how much it costs. So it is super expensive to unlock these. And once you unlock them, they won't go into your inventory or anything like that. They're actually going to go directly into your house, right? So if I walk into my house, so far I've gotten two of the items. Um, 
two change Rotom's forms, right? So obviously here's going to be the mechanical circular saw, which looks oddly like a, like a lawnmower, right? And then the mechanical pinwheel is the other one that I've unlocked here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just walk over to this. And when I do that, it's going to say your Rotom seems to want to investigate the electric fans motor. Will you let it in? If you click yes, it's going to ask you to choose Rotom. So I could choose the Rotom that I already have and change his form, uh, but I'm actually going to choose this brand new Rotom that we caught instead. And uh, we're going to just change his forms. Which, of course, will give it access to the new move, as you may expect, right? Which I believe in this case is uh, is Air Slash. So, yeah, perfect. All right, and there you guys have it. So that that's really all there is to it. Um, that's going to be how you change the forms, how you buy the new form items, and where to catch Rodom. Hopefully this helps you guys if you guys are big fans of Rodom and uh, makes your life a little bit easier. So, all right, guys, that'll be it for this video. And again, if you guys want to see more Pokemon Legends Arceus content, definitely hit that subscribe button. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you.